This is one of multiple videos discussing regular expressions. Regular expressions are used in many places, including the Cisco iOS CLI, BGP, voice translation rules, and Python, amongst other places. This is one of multiple videos discussing regular expressions. In a previous video, I discussed the dot or period amongst other regular expression characters. The dot matches any single character. Backspace escapes the special meaning of a character. Let's discuss caret and dollar. Caret matches the character or null string at the beginning of an input string. So caret 123 matches this, but it does not match this. So let's have a look at a few examples. I'll start off with the Cisco CLI. Show run pipe include I shows us all lines that include the letter I, such as Cisco here, IP Ceph, no IPv6 Ceph, spanning tree rapid PVST, and so forth and so on. If we change that to caret I, that shows us all lines that begin with an I. So notice IP domain lookup, IP Ceph, interface, and an interface number. Now pipe can be used to concatenate constructs. It matches one of the characters or character patterns on either side of the vertical bar. So as an example, we could say show run pipe include caret I pipe caret L. That will show us all lines that begin with an I or begin with an L. So all lines that begin with I, here are some examples, or all lines that begin with an L. So notice these lines down here. So how about show run pipe include INT. That should show us all lines that include INT. So we've got interfaces, but we've also got a VLAN internal allocation policy ascending. So if we say caret int, that'll show us all lines that start with INT. So that gives us a list of interfaces on the switch. But we could do caret pipe underscore. Now an underscore is a space. So a underscore replaces a long regular expression list by matching a comma, a left brace, a right brace, the beginning of the input string, or a space. So underscore 1300 underscore would match anything like this. In our example, we're looking for spaces, IP add. So what does that show us? It shows us all lines that begin with interface or all lines that begin with space IP address. So this allows us to see IP addresses configured on interfaces. So this is a routed port. So the IP address is displayed under the routed port. The same over here, interface VLAN one. So if I went on to interface gigabit three slash two and typed no switch port to make it a routed port, and then typed IP address 32.32.32.32, subnet mask like this, and ran that regular expression again. Notice I see interface 3 slash 3 with the IP address, as well as interface 3 slash 2 with the IP address. So let's run that again. And there you go. This interface has an IP address configured on it, so does this interface, and so does the SVI, or switched virtual interface. Beginning of line, or beginning of line space, IP address. 
So that's one place to use these kind of regular expressions. Uh, let's have a look at a BGP router. In this example, I'm going to tell net to a looking glass router. And log in with the username provided. This is a live BGP router on the internet. So if I type show IP BGP, I see a large number of routes. Show IP BGP summary. And you just need to be patient with devices like this because they're holding a huge number of routes. But show IP BGP summary shows us that this router has a BGP router identifier of this. It's got this number of autonomous system path entries. So that's about 4 million autonomous system path entries. It's got so many network entries in the routing table and so many path entries. So a large number of routes are stored in the routing table. It also has a large number of neighbor relationships. So as an example, this neighbor is sending 644,000 routes to the local router. This router is sending 647,000 routes and so forth and so on. So 651,000 routes being advertised here, 670,000 routes being advertised by that neighbor and so forth and so on. The router has a large number of routes in the routing table and a large number of BGP routes being advertised to it. Show IP route summary. It's got so many networks at 203,000 networks, so many subnets. So in total, about 709,000 routes in the IP routing table of this router. You probably don't want to search this manually. So IP BGP regex or regular expression. Before I do that, show IP BGP. This shows us the BGP routing table. So notice as an example, this route 1040 was advertised to the local router by this neighbor and the last autonomous system that it went through was 286. So a whole bunch of entries here, but we could search for routes using a regular expression where the last autonomous system that advertised the route was autonomous system 286. So this route again was advertised by this neighbor it originated in this autonomous system, went through these autonomous systems, and the last autonomous system that the route advertisement went through was 286. So notice all of these routes. Autonomous system that advertised the route to us was 286. Here's the neighbor. It went through all of these autonomous systems to get to the local router. So notice all of these entries end in 286. We could also do something where we say, show me routes where the autonomous system, where the route originated was this. So we should see that the last entry is always 56203. And we can see that in the output here. So we are looking for all routes that originated in this autonomous system, 56203 because of that statement. But what we could do now is say, show me all routes where the last autonomous system was 286 or where the route originated from 56,203. And I don't need the space here, so let's get rid of that. My connection to this route is very slow. So, show me routes where the last autonomous system that advertised the route to me was 286, or where the originating autonomous system was 56,203. And there you go. Notice 56,203, 56,203. If we scroll down here, we have 286, also 56,203 there. Scroll down further. Here's another one of 286. 
very large routing table, so it may take a while to find an entry where 286 didn't originate in that autonomous system. But here we go, here's a bunch of them. Notice the last autonomous system here was 286. It originated in 9737. Last autonomous system was 286, originated in this autonomous system, 23969. Scrolling up, notice this isn't 286, but the originating autonomous system is 56203. So that's an example of looking for something at the beginning, looking for something at the end, using an OR statement, and in this case, spaces in the autonomous system path. So to make the point, if I only match the autonomous system numbers like that, that have a three at the end, it might match other autonomous system numbers as well. At the moment, all of these autonomous system numbers are the same, but it could match another autonomous system number. So let's put one three here and see if we match anything else. So there you go, we're matching this autonomous system number. But if I only wanted to match autonomous system number three, I would have to do that, space three, dollar sign. Notice all of these routes originate in autonomous system number three. If I don't put the space, that's all autonomous system numbers that end in three. So I need to put space three dollar to specifically only match that autonomous system number. So again, if we say four, that's all routes that originated in autonomous system number four. So this route originated in this autonomous system number, went through this one, then this one, then this one, then this, then this, and then arrived at the local router and was advertised by this router to the local router. Autonomous system number five. As you can see here, this route originated in autonomous system five, went through a whole bunch of autonomous systems, and then was advertised by this router to the local router. This is an example of autonomous system path prepending, or AS path prepending, to manipulate the forwarding of BGP routes in the internet. This autonomous system number is prepending its own autonomous system number multiple times. So a router, when advertising that autonomous system to a router in this autonomous system, is prepending its own autonomous system multiple times. And you can see that's been done here as well to try and force the traffic to go a certain route in the internet. So that was an example of an underscore. Underscore could match a space, but can also match other characters such as carrot and dollar, or braces or curly brackets if you prefer. Hope you're enjoying these videos. Let me know if I should continue talking about regular expressions and showing you examples of them. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.